I was recently trying some stuff and I said, oh my gosh, I can turn a really ugly, one of my ugly drawings into something really cool. What you're seeing here is basically just me playing around with, with um, my avatar and art. Okay, so let's go into um, brass tacks. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use image to image. That's what that's for. But we're gonna use an enhanced version or an enhanced functionality for image to image beyond just playing with the initial, uh, the, the init number and everything. So let me just go through it step by step and show you what I mean. And then we'll see what Leonardo comes up with. And I guarantee it's going to be interesting because I, when I did this a few days ago, I was like, wow, I can really do something with it. So let's get started. Okay. Let's go into the AI generation platform. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to upload my sketch. Okay. So here is my sketch. Now i for some reason, had the idea of having aliens on a tropical vacation of some sort. That's what I came up with. So the first thing we want to actually uh, pay attention to is we're not going to go into control net right yet because control nets right here. I'm just giving you an idea. It basically allows you to really have a stronger influence on um, your generations on the input so you can actually really do uh, a situation where you can have the same character appear in different scenarios typically you don't find that in a lot of um, ai generators but it's available here through control net but first before anything i'm going to move this actually to guided scale to eight and okay, when we look at the initial, uh, the initial strength of this, this is the, um, to preserve the original image. So when we have the initial strength here is 0.3, which is relatively low. Let's take a look at what happens when we keep this at point. Uh, first things I'm going to actually put RPG. Uh, let me try RPG or may I just try dream shape six. I'll try RPG first. We'll re-roll it in some other way, but I'll go through that process. So the RPG is going to show that, um, you know, is going to show this image, but you're going to take a look and see, okay, it's going to be very similar to what you have. Let me just give you an example here. I also wanted to bring to your attention that we are dealing with a three slash four this image i believe is 801 by 1080 or something that way so whenever you're doing any kind of generation just keep that in mind um that it will keep it will that you keep the aspect ratio as much as possible okay so let's go ahead and see what happens okay Actually, let me take this off and just put as even though it actually looks pretty decent as you can see it does have it's very similar to what I put down now the whole point of me doing this is that I don't have to see what I put down I see something better so what I'm going to do I'm going to do two things I am going to get rid of this part here nothing wrong with this prompt but I needed to have this more straight yeah, and I, at least, you know, my, that's like, it looks kind of, it looks way cuter than what I could have come up with, to be perfectly honest. But what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the initial. I'm going to half the initial to 0.15 or thereabouts. 1.7, I'll live. So we have it at 0.17. This gives Leonardo a bit more leeway to really kind of get the image up there and change things. Um... As for image, let's do the as for image, and then I had an idea of what else to do that. Okay, this looks a little bit, definitely looks a little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually put bold, I'm going to put bold line art of alien with their spaceship on a 
tropical. I'm gonna put a tropical island planet. Planet. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see what this comes up with. That actually looks way better than what I have come up with. Um, so we can definitely see a lot more definition on the spaceship. And we see that, oh, I like this one with the, um, the trees look a little bit better defined and everything. And yes, this is looking pretty good. All right, so I'm actually going to do a little bit more on this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to the image. But first, let me try something else. Detailed. detailed face okay. you must stay face arm see we'll just and then go background We go sky of planets, stars, and um, comets. Let's just go background of that. Foreground. Tropical. Plants, flora and fauna. With a palm tree. So again, I'm just doing a detailed line art um, of a, a coconut tree. Why not? Um, which is what you see here. I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm going to give it a bit more detail to work with. And see what it can come up with. Okay, that is definitely something. Now, before re-rolling this image, let me go ahead and try a different model. Um, I was gonna try Dream Shaper versus Six, which I have really, I appreciate that one. It brings up some absolutely just rich and delicious fantasy images. I've seen it and I, a lot of the gamers that I've I've interacted with, they love it. They genuinely love it. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Yeah, I have a big palm tree here, see? See, Com I mean, it's just the sketch right now. Compare what I came up with to this. I mean, this is actually pretty sweet. And this is only, uh, you know, the beginning of the process. All right, so I've come up with a few images, but having thought about it a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this one uh, because it does represent more of what I have in mind. This one is still beautiful, but I wanted to re-roll this. So I, I added to image image. So I wanted to actually go in, use this, I call the yin yang icon with two arrows back and forth and use it to switch the image to image. Good. So you can see that's there. Um, initial, we're going to go to 0.26. I'm going to see if I can kind of um, and see if I can come up with something a little bit more detailed. So I'm going to go detailed. Everything is good so far. If I don't come up with anything, I'm just going to skip to. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next process, step of the process. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty good I like the details here um okay um I like the pictures here but I also like the background here a little bit more so I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna keep this one but if I anything I can change my mind and go back to the end now we're gonna go into control net now as I mentioned control net gives you a lot more control over the image and what you can do with it so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip it on. 
Now there's three, actually there are multiple faces of control net, but with this one, you want to pay particular attention to which one you choose. Now we're going to go through. First off, you'll see the, the, the control net weight go to one. Immediately move that. Ideally, you want to keep it between, I'd say 0.75 or 0.7 and 0.9. So I'm going to keep it this right at 0.7. I'm going to keep it there. When you go with control one, it really becomes very unpredictable. In this case, it's a lot like prompt magic, which is up here. I haven't turned that on. But when you have prompt magic on and you have it like the prompt strength is as high as it can be, that's when you wind up having problems. Um, you, the image does not render the way you want it to render. And that's very important because you want to have, and you can't have both in love together. You can either have control net or you can have prompt magic. Both of them, they conflict, so you can't really have them together. So right now I have prompt magic, I'm sorry, control net at 0.7. And with control net, you have three different, uh, three different levels, call it. Now the edge to image is where you keep the actual figures as they are, close to as they are, and then it actually goes and manipulates the background and brings in more detail. You can definitely do a lot more playing around with it. So let's take a look at edge to image first of all. But before we do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a little bit more detail. And I'm actually going to put in the uh, negative prompt in here because I just wanted to, to make sure it's all better. So let's go ahead and do that. And here's what we came up. Oh, it's nice. So the edge to image, it definitely looks pretty good. Way better than I would have come up with them. Um, but I don't see my aliens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play around with it a little bit more. Let's go with um, post image. And that one is, um, I'll go into detail specifically about these because I think it's important to understand what they do. And we're still trying to work out what they do, but I think I have a pretty good idea. So let's try post to image and see how this comes out. <laughs> Still looking beautiful, but I'm not seeing my alien friends. So let me go ahead and put in my old phrase of as per image. Because um, there are times when I find you don't really need that phrase, but there are times when Leonardo goes nuts and says, okay, let me go ahead and do whatever I want. And it looks beautiful, but it doesn't exactly give me what I want. All right, so let's go ahead and go. And Dream Shaper, as you can see, just to give you an idea, Dream Shaper does this. This is, a, this is definitely a step above um, Dream Shaper 5, I believe it was. Still so gorgeous. So let's go ask for image. Ah, I should have probably done edge to image first. Ah. When I find something that I kind of can work with, I re-roll it again, and then we go from there. Oh my god, still beautiful. All right, let me try edge to image. <laughs> I put the point uh, control weight as 0.75. Okay. Yeah, you're seeing my little... Um, guys here posing around. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what else we do. Okay, so what I did here is I actually did a couple of things. I kind of scaled back the prompt and just made it, you know, made it as simple as possible. So detailed, uh, bold drawing, warm sunset palette, which uh, Leonardo seems to understand, and I actually go through that in, an, in another uh, video. And, you know, I keep the backgrounds guys. So when you find or when I find that I'm having a little bit of problem with the prompting, I kind of scale it back and get it as simple as possible and then build from there. I also took away the negative prompt because as much as I love the negative prompt, there are times when it can get in the way of the actual positive prompt. Uh, so I took it away and this is what the results were for me. 
I did a depth to image, play around with it, and I actually like this one right here. It seems to be, you know, definitely what I want to be, and it's it's actually pretty beautiful. So let me go ahead, and I'm actually going to re-roll this one. And see, I move it here, and then play around with it a little bit more and come up with, um, let me... All right, let me go ahead and do deliberate 1.1 and see what it comes up with. Uh, see if it comes up with anything more refined. I'm going to stick with depth to image and see what it can come up with. So this is the process of really getting your sketch to art and getting the idea of what you have in your head on in a photo or in a rendering. Because as much as, as as advanced as Leonardo is, there are times when it just it misses the mark, and because it can't read your mind, you gotta have to give it a little bit of help. So let's go ahead. Oh wow, these are pretty cool. All right, so if I've got the depth to image, let me go ahead and it's got the little. Let's take a look at this. It's got the little thing right here. I've got the palm trees. It's got something pointing to that, and the and the actual spaceship looks really great uh, so let me go ahead and put okay so that's pretty good let me try the edge to image or the yeah the edge to image and generate but as I said I'll go through these specific control net um, functionalities because they do have their own unique ways of doing things and those come in very handy especially when you're doing logos this is very cool. Yeah, so basically, you know, I you can go ahead and play around with this a little bit more, but I feel like these two right here are pretty good representation of what I had in my head, and I can go ahead and further refine it and further refine it. But let's just take a look at where we where you know this all came from. I started with um something that looks like this, but not even this. Let's see, I started with an absolutely just ridiculous rendering that I came up with a sketch pad, this thing, and wound up with something that looked like this, which is an amazing transformation and something that I encourage all of you to kind of try and play around with. Control that and image to image are a powerful combination. It will take a bit of practice um, to get the handle of them and even then you kind of have to keep tweaking and playing around with the fine tuned models but this is how you can render great art from a really ugly sketch and somebody is not artistic or not a drawing guru by any stretch of anybody's imagination so thanks for your time and I'll see you guys in the next video of course keep practicing and I'll talk to you guys soon like, subscribe, comment, and share.